What is a narrative essay? A narrative essay is an informal piece of writing that relates a story from real life events experienced by the author or writer. This story provides an illustration for a point the writer wishes to make and the essay includes the writer's explicit comments about the events and their meaning. When writing a narrative essay, one might think of it as telling a story. It offers writers a chance to think and write about themselves. We all have experiences lodged in our memories which are worthy of sharing with readers and personal essays allow writers to express themselves in creative and quite often moving ways. A personal essay should include all the parts of the story, an introduction, a plot or sequence of events, characters, a setting or location, a climax or central event in the story, and a conclusion. Including all of the standard components of a story is critical as you create the outline to your paper. By checking off all these parts, you're able to give your paper a strong skeleton so that the readers are more confident with the content as they read. Your essay should have a clear purpose. Even though you're telling a story, the paper should still have a point. This will help you focus your paper and make your story more interesting for readers. The purpose is a lot like a thesis for an essay. Even though you won't state your purpose at the beginning, you should keep it in mind as you write and make sure you make your point by the end. Create a clear point of view. The reader needs to know who's telling the story. In this case, you'll probably be writing from your own point of view, also known as first person. I did this, I did that. While you should avoid using the first person I in scholarly essays and formal papers, it is perfectly fine to use it in a personal narrative. Your readers should never be left wondering about the where and when of your story. Your readers should never think, wait, when did this happen? Where is this taking place? Did this happen before or after the accident? Stories move characters through space or locations and through certain time frames. Your reader did not experience your story, so when you move to a different location or time frame, you must indicate these transitions. For example, such sentences might look like this. Later that day at my friend's house, when I was 16 years old, we moved across town. I was five years old living with my dad when I got my first pet. A year after the accident, I still hadn't healed. Here are some more examples of transitional words for place and time. Do not go overboard with this concept. Only use transitions when necessary. Not every sentence and maybe even not every paragraph will need them. To indicate place, above, below, elsewhere, further on, here, near, nearby, on the other side, opposite to, there. Or obviously you can name the specific location where your story is going. At my friend's house in Montana, outside the porch. To indicate time, after a while, afterward, as soon as, once, at a time, before, earlier, formerly, immediately, in the meantime, in the past, lately, later, now, shortly, since, so far, soon, then, thereafter, until, when. Or you can name the specific time. By 2 p.m., near the end of 2011, 10 minutes later. Use clear and concise language throughout the essay. Much like the descriptive essay, narrative essays are effective when the language is carefully, particularly, and artfully chosen. Use specific languages to invoke specific emotions and senses in the reader. This helps readers understand meaning quickly and easily, and concise language focuses on the core message in as few words as possible. Let's use this sentence as an example. When 900 years old you reach, look as good, you will not, hmm? By simply rewording and changing around the order of the words, the reader can clearly follow what point you are trying to get across. When you reach 900 years old, you will not look as good as me. Description is an important part in any narrative because we live our stories as a collection of sensory experiences. Conveying this sensory experience is one of the best ways for you to captivate your audience and paint a vivid picture of the story you are trying to portray. Description and detail allow you to show the audience what happened rather than telling them. If you begin to feel stuck with your adjective choices or you feel writer's block steeping in, write out the five senses, touch, taste, smell, sight, and hearing, and go through your story to discover how you used all the senses. From there, you'll be able to find the correct adjectives and apply your story and give it the boost of color that it needs. It's also a good idea to describe emotions, especially when writing in first person. The more descriptive the narrative, the stronger and more intense and powerful your paper will be. However, make sure your details don't distract from the purpose of your paper. The details you choose should tell us something important about the setting or characters, 
even if it's just so we can tell one person from the other or get a clear image of the scene. Thank you for watching. This video has been brought to you by the BOU Idaho Writing Center.